My name is Bernard. I am from True Legal Media. Can you introduce yourself to our readers? My name is Nazir Paulson, member of the Western Cape Provincial Legislature, representing the Economic Freedom Fighters. Thank you so much. Why did you choose to join this uh, political career? I chose, uh, I chose EFF because it uh, resonated well with my desire to, to have a voice for the poor and marginalized communities in the Western Cape. We have serious problems. There's no other political party who speaks to the heart of the core challenges faced by the people of the Western Cape. Thank you so much. You have been sworn in. What are your promises to the residents of Western Cape? To the people of the Western Cape, in our mandate, we said we would be the voice of the poor. We, I intend to uphold that promise, that commitment to the people of the Western Cape. They have entrusted us with a vote. We will not let them down. Thank you so much. Cape Town has been noted by this uh, service delivery protest, especially the poor protest. Protest. How are you planning to uh, to improve service delivery in the country, in the Western Cape? One of the within our within our, our one of our seven cardinal pillars is quality housing with proper sanitation. And within our election manifesto, we again address that very challenge. We will continue to agitate for proper housing for all the people of the Western Cape, which includes proper sanitation. We believe that this would bring an end to the, to the protest, which are, which are mainly for proper housing and sanitation. Thank you so much. What are the, some of the challenges you face in this political profession? I think the big challenge we face is that the voters out there, uh, some of them, or many of them, are unwilling to, to accept that their conditions are far less than desirable and are scared to put their faith in in a political party that will radically address those, those problems that they face. We are hoping that through our representation in the provincial legislatures across the country and also in the National Assembly, the voters will see our sincerity in addressing their problems. So this was the first step, but it's certainly not the last and it's not the end of the road for EFF. We have to increase the momentum in, in driving our gender in our communities. Thank you so much. Uh, in your view, is everyone in South Africa enjoying the fruits of freedom? No, a handful is enjoying the fruits of, of, of this country. We do not believe there is no freedom. You cannot speak of freedom when people are suffering. We have 234 informal settlements across the Western Cape. If there was democracy, then democracy would also be about bringing about equality amongst the various communities in the country, in the Western Cape and the Cape Town. So I don't think that we have even given people the opportunity to test freedom in the Western Cape or South Africa. Thank you. Your view on the return of the Premier Helen Zille? Well, it was, uh, I think it was a foregone conclusion. And I don't think that the uh, DA Premier is the real problem. I think the real problem for the Western Cape is the DA government that will continue to be um, 
insensitive towards poorer communities. So are you happy with the hair return? Um, I would have been happier with an EFF government in the Western Cape. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you very much. Great. Okay, thanks.